in your can look. And it's good to see you again. Oh, very good to see you as well. Hmm. Mary, do you think it's the right decision? I mean, the first money you are getting from Adora and her husband to buy such an expensive car? Uh-uh. Okay, look. Who said I bought the car with my money? Okay, look. My Oga is in love with me. He may be pretending. Hmm. Just hiding it and acting as if it's a duty for him to sleep with me. Oh. But he's terribly falling in love with me. Okay, look, I feel the heat in him whenever he touches me. I know. Anyways, I needed the car. Hmm. So I went to knock on their room. I told them I needed the car. Hmm. Adora said no. My ogre said yes. Give her the car key. So you mean? Adora allowed you to use their family car? Exactly. Hmm, Mary. Mary, you know I know you very well. I know you very well. Of all the girls that used to come to the Maccabees, to hang out at the Maccabees club, you are the biggest dreamer. You dream too much. You dream too much. Are you sure you're not the one madly in love with this man? And you're trying to turn things around just to suit your mind? Ata come. You're not going to say anything. You don't fall in love. Oh God. Oh God, look. Me, who wouldn't? Oh God, look, who wouldn't? Oh God, look, look at this man. Look at him. Just, just look at him. He's handsome. He's tender. He's caring. Oh, he's rich. I oh, know before I would now. Who can fight this kind of temptation? <laughs> the man sleeps with you. Gets you pregnant, sleeps with you once in a while, and you say I shouldn't fall for him? Who oh, wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Mary, the important question is is this man having the same feeling for you? Have you ever asked yourself that? Oga, okay, look, yeah. that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I, I need fresh air. I need to talk to somebody. I need to. Explain to somebody who is a good die, a good die, okay, look. I, I like this man. I, I love, I adore this man. I, I love him. I mean, I'm dying, okay, look, I'm dying. Hi. I'm dying. Why well, I don't they? Okay, look, what I do? What I do, away. And that's why I'm here for you to find a solution. There's no solution. You will stay there until you born the baby. After all, you're enjoying the man for now. Then what? Listen, do all what you have to do with this man. Be satisfied to the fullest. After that, you get rid of this stupid mad love you're talking about. Get your money, get paid, and get the hell out of their family. Do you understand that? Okay. Nothing else to do. Okay, look. Okay, look, you did all me. They told me now. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. Oh, God, okay, look, it's not it's so easy. Now. Have you... Have you felt this man? Have you, have you heard his heartbeat? Have you, have you felt his touch? Have you, you need to hear this man. You, you need to see this man. You, oh, God, look, no, it, it's hard. It's hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard. I got six. I do. 
very sorry. I forgot I didn't get money from the house. So what do you want me to do that? This orange is not my own. Uh, just pay me, let me see. Like, please, please, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I was in I didn't know. I didn't carry money in my hand. Just come, let's go, yeah? Please, yeah? I can't follow you anywhere. Do I know who you are? I don't know you from anywhere. I can't, you just pay me my money, let me go. There is no money in the handbag. I forgot to carry me here, yeah? I'll give you, come. I'm not a ritualist. I cannot go anywhere with you. I just pay me my money, let me go. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not a ritualist. Let's go. I'll give you your money. Yeah? Sorry, yeah? Be honest. Oh, come. Wait, 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 wait. Daddy should be. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, what would you like to eat when you get back today? Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, well, the usual. The usual will be fine. Okay. Mm. Accident involving Mary. Where, 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 where? She's at the hospital. The doctor just called me now. Apparently, she asked them to take her to the hospital because that is where she takes her accidental care. I said it. I said this girl should not go out. Eh? Nothing should happen to this girl, no. Nothing. Do you know what I was doing? Yes. yes. See, they stole my designer bag. What happened? What really happened? I needed to lick orange and I saw the girl passing. So I called her and asked her to build six for me. I didn't know I didn't have money in my handbag. I explained to her, I didn't have money, but let's go to my house so I can pay you there. She refused. I explained, I explained that she refused. The next thing, she jacked my designer handbag and ran away. I tried to pursue her. My, my shoes were bold and I, and I fell. So she's pregnant. She should not be wearing high-heeled shoes. Hmm? How did you fall? You did not fall in your tummy, did you? No, I fell on my side. So okay. The baby is safe. How are you feeling now? Uh, doctor, I don't think there is any need for her to stay here. Let me take her home so I can take care of her very well, please. Well, she's stable. Once her drip finishes swelling, we can take her home. Thank you. Hmm? Oh God. That girl took my designer handbag because of six oranges. Six orange. Mary, I'll buy you another bag. Eh? So. Are you okay? Are you sure? Just 
Mm. Um, my husband is even sitting down, watching you as you eat and help you up your back. <laughs> you see how well we are treating you? Yes, that's it. <laughs> if you want anything, just let me know. Okay. Mm? Thank you. Hello? Hey, Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, Mary. Sit down here. Yeah. When he comes in, just say hello to him and tell him you're my husband's friend's wife, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Well, Michael, I come and meet your father. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. I can see that you are pregnant too. <laughs> oh, are you yes, your friend? Yes, I am. I see. Well, uh, I am Michael's father. It's good to meet you, sir. Happy to see you. It's great to see you. Uh, Michael. Oh! <laughs> Look at my daughter. How are you? You are looking radiant in your pregnancy. Come, 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 come. Come, come and give me a hug. Very good. Oh, Michael, I can see you are taking good care of this young lady that is going to give us a baby very soon. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Uh, you're okay. I hope the weight has not started weighing you down. Otherwise, I will ask my wife to come and rub your back for you. <laughs> Daddy, you can do it yourself. It's simple. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. May you live. And may the baby live also. Amen. Amen. So, Father, that's Mary, my friend's wife. She's actually also pregnant. Yeah, we already got acquainted. And I can see she's pregnant. Hey, this is a pregnancy that looks as if it's GG with my own. We're both 13 weeks gone. <laughs> as if our husbands planned it. Huh? It could be, who knows? They are friends, aren't they? <laughs> so, what do you care uh, fine, sir. I'm fine, thank you. Her husband is currently not in the country. His company sent him on an IT course in Tokyo for seven months, and um, he pleaded with me to let the wife stay here for a while. You know, as a matter of fact, till she gets, uh, she delivers. Uh, you know, since my wife is also pregnant. You know, I think here will be better for her, since there are a lot of people around and she wouldn't be bored. Yeah, which is better than staying alone. I think it's a good idea. Anyway, I passed by your office and um, discovered that you were not there. So I got worried about Adora. And since I didn't want telephone conversations, that's, I came over to find out if Adora is doing well. Adora, you see? I don't go to work for one day and they're worried about you. They're not worried about me. Fine. I'm also going to get pregnant so that everybody starts worrying about me. <laughs> uh, how is mommy?
comes after you. I saw God in my room. Baby, what in my head? My dream looks so real. Penelope? Yes. And what was Gola doing to you? He was pushing me. He was trying to catch me. I pushed it away. Mary, I need you to go back to your room and pray, okay? There's no gorilla in this house. I can't go back to my room and sleep. I can't, I can't even lie down there. It was really big. It looked too real. Yeah. Mary, do you want to sleep in our room today? No, I like my room. I like my room. You're going to there. My girl, go and keep out with me. And make sure she comes to my home, please. Yeah? Go with her. The gorilla there. Yeah. In my dream. That's big. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Mike, hold me. Is this how I'm going to sleep? Is there anything you want me to do for you? Do you want me to sing a song or tell you a story? I know what. Wait, you want me to make you tea? No, coffee. Make it chocolate. I know what. Uh -uh. Okay, Mike. Are you pretend as if you don't know what I want? What else would a pregnant woman want from the man who impregnated her? What else? This game is dangerous. As in rugged. As in rugged, rugged. This game. What would you say if I told you that I like you, as in very much, as in like you solid, as in really like you? I would say shame to the devil. Mugamake, <clears throat> can you control the things that come into your mind and things that don't? If I don't like what comes into my mind, I push it out. It becomes a game. I push it out again. Maybe it comes again because the person lives inside you. Because the person lives in the same house with you. The person sleeps on the same bed with you. What if it comes again? What would you do? Oh my God, I'm oh mad. I like you so much. I like you so much. I, I, I like you. I like you, Daz. I like you ten much. As in twenty much. I like you five much. As in one million much. I'm dreaming for you. I just go mad. I just go crazy. I just go mad like mad. As in. Why? She stayed away because of nightmares she was having. And you stayed awake with her. She kept on making passes at me. I mean, not physical passes, but emotional passes. Yeah, she, she toasted me. I think she's in love with me. What? That is not the deal. She did not come here to fall in love with you. She came here to have a baby and disappear. Well, but obviously that's not what is happening now. I mean, it's not as simple as it looks. So, what did you say to her? What else? I tried avoiding her, but she kissed me all night. And I played along with Mary, the baby carrier, so that she wouldn't run away with her pregnancy. 
and decide to reveal our secrets so that our walls will not come crumbling on our heads. Did you have sex with her? Where are you going? I'm going to tell her the rules and the boundaries. My husband said you are not happy. Auntie, all I'm asking is a little affection. I'm a human being, not a machine. I know you're paying me, but I'm asking for a little affection. That's all. Are you complaining? But we treat you well. I'm not saying you don't treat me well. You treat me like a human being. I want you to treat me or him to treat me like a woman. They are two different things. They are not the same. Open your legs, close your legs, open up, close up. Look like that. Mary, I need you to understand me. What I'm doing is not easy. I allow you to sleep with my husband while I sleep alone. I, I basically share my husband with you. It is not easy, please. What I'm doing is easy. Um, I know it's not easy. Who is that? Did that did that just come in? Can't you talk to me from outside? Sorry, man. But the one thing I should stop talking to you from outside. Uh, what is it? Okay, your your mother is at the gate now. Do you need my permission to open the gate for my mother? Uh, it is because the other day August Pana came in here. I let him in and August was angry with me. So that's why I said him to support him. Don't shut your mouth and go and open the gate. Okay, man. Do you also? Um, Mimi, you'll have to go to your mom now. And make sure you don't come out in the middle of this. I know she knows my husband's friend's life with you, but still, we need to keep going. It's, it's nothing, I'll just go to my room. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Get me a dress. Who needs a dress? No, 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 no. This is No, this is too tight. No, this is what me. This is what me. This is what me. Thank you, my dear. How are you people? I'm fine. How is it? Bye. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. What is wrong? That's okay. Take them downstairs to the kitchen. Okay. Hey, you know that good food is good during pregnancy. But there is nothing as good as vegetables, carrots, cucumber, cabbage. You have to eat it very well. It's good for your condition. Not only rice and chicken and stew. Don't let it throw to the kitchen though. No. Make sure you eat them. Mama, tell her all she eats is chicken, chicken, chicken. Mm -mm. That's a lie, mother. Ask him used to beg me to make chicken in this house every evening. Eh, chicken is good, but vegetables are also very good for you. Eh? <laughs> so how are you doing, my daughter? How is your pregnancy? Is the baby kicking yet? Eh? Come, let me feel it. No, mama, <laughs> she doesn't let anyone touch her stomach. Oh. Not even me. Really? Mary! Hi! Mary! Come, come and meet my mother. Mother, meet Mary, my husband's friend's wife. She is staying here for the meantime. You've already introduced me to your mom. Have yeah. I? Hey, don't worry, you did now. The last time I came, you introduced that to me. Oh, okay. Go to my mother, let her rub your tummy. Mary is the one that likes her tummy to be rubbed because her husband is not around. My daughter, come, Jerry, don't mind that girl. Hey! Mama, so how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Chai, 
So he's been kicking you. Oh, well. I just like his father. Hey, man. Hey, can't feel it. <laughs> hey. Don't mind that door that is making shakara. Hmm? Shine. So, how is your husband? I hope you do hear from him. Oh, yes, I do. All the time. I, it feels like he's here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, good. Very good. Thank you, Mama. Okay, my darling. Just okay, my dear. Thank okay. you. Hey, Mama. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm so happy, oh God, I can't wait to carry the grandchild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what do you want me to give to you? Ah, my dear, I have come to stay with you the whole of today. So, start bringing everything you have. Let me get close up. Dixon! Goat! Open the gate! Hey, where are you going to? I want to come out. This place is like prison. I don't tire. But when will you go out? You go for antenatal check, don't you? Not do. Until not do. Let me go out. Just use this my eye and look around. I'm bored now. Please beg the gate man to open the gate. Hey. Mary. Dixon. Open the gate. Your auntie and I just settled our little arguments. You know how we men are now? We quarrel and we settle. Open the gate. Okay, okay ma. Mm -hmm. Thank you, auntie. Good. and disobedience these days and that is not so good we should still be able to control her till she delivers the baby <sighs> sweetheart i suggest you dance to add some and pretend as if you guys are having a secret affair under my nose and what makes you think that will control her <sighs> she's your secret lover she will want to please you she sees me as a rival to your heart and that will make me win my own threats because she will want to please you. That includes her not going out anytime she's bored, putting her life and the baby's life in danger. She's well over eight months, for God's sake. She shouldn't be driving. Madam is now pregnant. Yes, as you can see, she's pregnant. Oh. 
Our God be praised. Amen. Please let me know where she delivered. So I'll come and see baby. No problem. No problem. <laughs> All right then. Take care. I'm taking a walk. Just as you two are. Bye bye. <laughs> Finally, this woman is pregnant. Our God is great. thinking about what you said the last time and it's not like I'm uninterested. I, I do like you too and um, I want to start something going on but let, let's keep it away from Madame if you know what I mean. God! Yes. <laughs> you know sometimes in life it takes you a while before you appreciate certain things and when you do appreciate them it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Um, can I have your number? <laughs> Number. <laughs> okay, number. You see your story, I'm shaking my back. <laughs> to be angry with me. So I won't go anywhere since that's what you want me to do. But I get tired of still at one place all the time. That's good. Your daddy's secret. Daddy's beautiful secret. You know what? I'm gonna start calling you beautiful secret from now on. Okay? <laughs> Unlike the name. I hope you won't get tired. Some men change their minds the way women change clothes. No, not at all, not me. Anyway, I have to get back to work, so uh, I'll talk to you later. Kiss, kiss. No, 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 no. Love you and bye. Mm -hmm. This is how it should be. Could you ask her who and what makes her happy? 
please. <laughs> okay, I will. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Auntie, you heard me laughing. I don't remember laughing so loud. <laughs> was the laugh so loud? Yes. I was wondering who could be making you so happy like that. <laughs> Auntie, I was talking to my boyfriend though. Really? Uh -huh. uh, does he know you're pregnant? For where? <laughs> Maybe I give birth to my baby. I'll just go and start looking for him. Okay. <laughs> where does he live? Abuja. Far mm. from here. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I can't remember I laughed the first time. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Mm. Hey. Mm. I was talking to my boyfriend though. No, 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 the baby will come. Let's go. We just have to go oh. downstairs and we are out, okay? Okay, let's go. I'm sure you will not be wondering why me and Mary are in labor at the same time. Don't tell you it happens, eh? These things happen. Two pregnancies at the same time happens, okay? Just, just act like Just act like you. Just scream, scream, scream. Scream. No, 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 I already handled it. Take good care of the house whilst I take this pregnant woman to the maternity. Okay? Hey. Oh my god, you're faithful. 
for gracious. Let your name be praised. Let your name be. What happened to her baby? Oh, poor girl. It's okay, it's okay. I will inform your father straight away and we'll be right there. What is the excitement all about? I don't want to just bring that bounce to the boy! For you? Yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! I knew the Lord was going to do it, but the Lord be praised! Very good! Amen. That's good! The other lady to deliver uh -huh. Michael's wife's friend. Okay. Dirty baby died. Oh, what a pity. Oh my god. When did all this happen? This morning! Today! Two of them delivered the same day! What a coincidence! Okay, very well then. Mm -hmm. Let us go and get training. We will go to hospital right it's away. Okay, it's okay. Hey, hey. congratulations. Hey. You have done it. My yeah. baby. <laughs> I'm good for you. You're a My daughter, take heart. Okay? It's okay, my dear. God will give you the one that will stay. Hmm? Thank you so much. Have you informed your husband? Next one will stay. Hmm? Okay. Sorry. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Um, just so you know, whatever you and I shared, my wife knew about it. It was planned. It wasn't real. I only pretended to love you so that you would give us a baby via a safe delivery. That's <laughs> lie. 
saying you are pretending. How, how could you pretend? You, you're saying this over your conscience because of your barren life, right? This is about conscience, yes? This is a check of what we owe you. Please, as soon as you get home from the hospital after your discharge, leave. Thank you so much for everything. The contract is over. We've gotten the baby now. God bless you. Mother, wait. What? 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 about everything. I even gave her the check. Michael, why would you do such a thing without consulting me? Because I don't want you to discourage me. <sighs> do you know what you have just done? What if she goes out in that mood and starts telling whoever cares to listen her secrets? Adora, I don't want her in the house. What if your mother decides to come and take care of you and the baby for some few months and stay in the house? Mary will now start making advances at me and talking all her lovey-dovey stuff. We can't be doing all this in front of your, of your mother. We can't hide it. We need a free house. Not a house where we have to be hiding everything we do and say from your mother and my mother. Michael, we have to be careful. Nobody's coming to the house now. Not your mother or my mother. We'll tell them we can handle things for now so that Mary can come to the house and help us. Please, let me handle this. Hey, Michael. Where are you going? I'm going to meet Mary. She's coming back to the house. But we don't owe her because I've already paid her off. Whatever. For the sudden hate. Why do you scream each time I touch you? I don't hate you, okay? I just don't like playing games. You're not the one playing games. You are the one who's playing games. Listen, give up, okay? It's never gonna happen again. It's over! What do you mean it's over? Mary, please wait, please. Shubomi! Ma? Shubomi, wait, send me! Thank you, please. Thank you, Mimi. Mary! Mary! Let's talk like grown up. Even if you have to go, you don't have to go in anger and vexation. You have lived with us peacefully for the past nine months. You don't have to end it on this note. Auntie, you have paid me all my money. I want to go. I don't want to live here again. There's also something that made me change my mind. I made up my mind to go. And I want to go. So where are you going to? Anywhere I like I go. No. If you have to go, then you have to go very far. Go to America, London, Europe. I'm sorry, I'll get a visa. I don't get. <sighs> okay. We'll assist you with the visa. We get you a visa and you leave. You go away from our life and we go away from yours. Come back inside and let's talk it over. Who's not leaving your house for you to help me get a visa? 
If you have the contact, contact them. Tell me which documents you need from me and I'll provide it. Ah, must I come and stay for you to help me, Auntie? If you get the visa appointment, tell me I'll go for the interview. So I can travel far just the way you want me to. Oh, okay then. How do I reach you to get your passport page for application? I'm not get international passport. I never get before. I'm not get. I never nearly get them. I'm not get, Auntie. I'll go do it next week. By the time I do it next week, I'll get the passport page for you. I'll drop it at your Megan house. You let me give it to you. Any day you get the appointment day or interview, call me, I'll go for the interview. So I can travel and go. I know you have claimed my son. But take care of him because he's my flesh and blood. He's my flesh and blood. Hey, go to it home. Wrap your gates. Come and open your gates. Boots. was there to do. They paid me off. So you mean you gotta stay here with your visa for you for tomorrow? Yes. That's it, that's it. So you're gonna cash the money and give me my balance. Then you can sit down and wait as long as you want for your visa to go to America. Meet me in the bank tomorrow. I'll give you your balance. Wow. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, the Mary didn't belong me. <laughs> Mary you will go to America, no matter what you do. If you have one million enemies, we will still go to the US. America, you are coming. In fact, you are there in America already. You are a millionaire. Just make sure when you get there, you don't forget me, okay? So you're going to begin to check the cash to check tomorrow morning? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. That sounds very, very good. America here, I come, that's Mary. Who writes letters in this day and age? Disappointed of going to be because you lied to them and deceived them into believing that your barren wife Adora can't ever have a baby. Oh my god. So, when we did not go to America as we sent her, I'm 100% sure she's the one behind this. It's Mary, nobody else. It's Mary. We're being blackmailed. Obviously, it's Mary. Look at the name, it's Mary. She traveled to America and sneaked in quietly to come and blackmail us. For what now? What does she want again? I don't know why she's asking for more money. We give her 15 million naira and she wants 5 million naira. For what? We've paid her enough. Hmm. Let us send the person. And we arrest the person. Yes. If we get the person arrested, Mary will also be arrested. And then she will now tell the whole world what the secret is. It can't happen. At this point in time, we just have no other option but to just pay the money. I'm afraid she doesn't ask for another money, money again.
Yeah, Solomon. Are you serious? This is the best news you've ever told me. You're getting married? <laughs> I mean, this is the best news I've ever heard since you went to the States. Okay, so, so, so what's her name? And, and how was she able to tie down a chronic bachelor like you? <laughs> okay, wait. Does she have two breasts or she has four? Daddy, I'm sure you'll be very happy. I mean, we all are happy. I mean, I never thought you could ever get married. I mean, come on, you know, I know you, Solomon. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, what's her name? Ah, Oluchi. Okay, she's Nigerian. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, what am I seeing you guys soon? Eh? Oh, okay, great, 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 great. All right, then, then I, I, I hope to see you soon. Okay. All right. God bless. Take care, my brother. And congratulations. <laughs> Good. So we won't get married. Can you imagine? Solomon, my brother, called me today. And guess what? He's getting married. He's going to be in Nigeria very soon with his wife to be. Oh my God, I can't wait. Can you just beat that? Hey. Wait, what's wrong? This came in today. I don't want from me. Fifty million naira? Fifty million naira? I'm not gonna pay Mary a dime. She can go and tell the whole world what has happened, but I'm not gonna pay Mary any money. That baby is mine, and I'm gonna take the baby. Okay? She didn't get pregnant by trees, baby. Listen, it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. This is Mary's fault, and this thing has to end right now. If we don't stop this blackmailing thing, she's gonna to continue to get money from us till we block and we die. She's gonna suck everything from us. Listen, it's not your fault. Huh? It's not your fault. She can't continue to blackmail us. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault.
next time if he comes near my gate again, I want his head, okay? Brother. Okay? Brother. Guilt. I'm not gonna spend my money. I had any money. Yeah, it's your boss around. Um, sorry, sir. What's your name, sir? Go tell him Solomon, his younger brother that lives in the United States. Tell him I'm back. Oh. Hey, hold on, sir. Uh, please, uh, all right, just give me a minute, please. Sir, all right. be fast about it. All right, sir. Man, they are at the gate. They say him be our brother. Say him name Solomon. Solomon is back. Uh, hey, in the gate, ma. Are you serious? Yes, ma. Your baby. I thought you said you're coming in on Thursday. Today's Monday. What happened? No, no, listen. You know, while I was talking to you on Saturday evening, I was already at the JFK airport waiting for my flight to Lagos. You know, I arrived um, yesterday evening. This morning, I had to take a local flight down here. Flew in a couple of hours ago. You know me, I like little surprise elements. Oh. See this guy. See oh this my guy. God. <laughs> Where's the luggage? Let Dixon, can you take the luggage from the taxi? No, no, no. I ain't got bag in the car. I already checked into a hotel. You know I came with my fiance. She's in a hotel. She's she's catching a nap. I decided to run down to come see you and your wife and the new and much expected baby. You're always full of surprises. <laughs> yeah. Alright, then I'll go and drop you then. Uh, Dixon, tell the cab driver I'll go and drop you, what's, huh? What's his name again? Dixon. Uh, Dixon, tell the driver my brother will drop me off at the hotel. Okay, sir. Alright. <laughs> Look at you. Have you called that? No, I haven't. Why? I just want to arrive at this gate just like I arrived at the gate. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, let's get it. I'm a soldier, man. I like Look surprises. <laughs> I'm big. Yeah. Best. It's funny how I've been living here for so long and I never knew there was a hotel like this. <laughs> Maybe it's not sad. If you look around, you find good rooms. Yeah.
on back. Why are you staring at my elder brother like that? What's going on here? Really unbelievable. Apology. Among every other story you've told me, a blackmailer? I would have shown that she's a very nice kid. Very homely. In fact, the homeliest girl I've ever met all my stay in the United States of America. She would cook, clean my apartment, and even do all my laundry. How did you guys meet? I met her six months ago at a Nigerian party in Brooklyn. She was seated all by herself so quietly. Somehow got talking and I liked her. A month later she called me and complained about accommodation issues with the people she was living with so I asked her to move in with me. from the United States of America. So you can see she's not working alone. Beats me. This other story you said she had been leave with you once upon a time. You need to give me details. No, not today. We need to rest. I need to go home and tell my wife that I've seen Mary. That my brother is getting married. To, to the woman of his dreams, the woman he's hyped, the woman that he thinks is the virtuous woman of his life, the same Mary who duped and blackmailed us of 10 million naira and counting. I told you everything, right? What's going on, Oluchi? He called you Mary. I call you Oluchi. What is really going on? He told you everything. He told me nothing. Only that you're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Yes. Over some secret you know about him and his wife. I don't know if I believe him, but then, I don't know my brother to be a liar. It's a long story. By the time I'm done, you will not love me again. But it doesn't matter, because I told the truth. I hid nothing from you. But first, you have to know that I know nothing about any blackmail. I am not blackmailing your brother. That's not the story.
the world indeed is a very small place. I once lived in the same house with your brother. It was his wife who first met me. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Who is this? <laughs> so you wanted the hardware? You chose a real man with a cutlass. Then you, that means you want to dance to my music. Excuse me? Who is this? Oh, you mean you can't still recognize the voice of your blackmailer even if he uses a different number? Go to hell, okay? Go to hell! <laughs> you know what? I ain't got time for this uh, your useless noise. But trust me, by the end of today, your father, your mother, and your wife's mother will know the truth. I mean the whole truth. How your barren wife, Adora, got her baby boy. And after that, we shall see who's in hell, or who's already in hell, or who's going to hell. What do you want from me, huh? What does Mary want from me? You just bring the 50 million Naira then you will not hear of her anymore. She will vanish from your life for good. But, if you refuse to cooperate, trust me, the shit will hit the ceiling. And when the shit hit the ceiling, it will spread like wildfire. Even domestic animals will be aware of it. You can't tell me it's what you want, right? Or do you want that? Can we meet? Are you coming with the money? Yes. Good. Remember, no police, no smartness. But even if you choose to uh, come with the police, arrest me or one of my men, we shall still expose you. We shall expose you and your lies. Now, I don't think you want that. So better don't get smartness involved in this, okay? Yes. I will communicate to you 10 minutes before the meeting where we get to meet. And make sure you come with the money. And let me still remind you, no police, no smartness. It won't help you, okay? Because arresting my man or myself will not help you. Understood. Good boy. So, are we going to give them 50 million naira? You don't have any choice. Hey! God! God! I beg of you, if you leave, mercifully deliver us. But if you don't leave, then nothing matters. Hey! I have no reason to believe that she is lying about not knowing who is blackmailing you and your wife. Much as I'm not too happy about the stories you've told me, I still want you to get to the root of this whole thing. I want you to still keep your appointment with the blackmailer as earlier planned this week. Yeah. If they show up, that means someone else has been blackmailing you, not all of you. But if they don't, we have every reason to believe that she must have warned them not to show up. What day is your appointment with the blackmailer? In a couple of days. Okay. I'll hang around with some plain clothes policemen. Okay. Thanks, man. It's okay. Do you mind a drink?
The money is complete and you did not come with the police. I came with the police. What? You must be joking. Are you pulling my name? No, the reason is not my name. Look right behind you. So he's still one black man in you, right? Yes. But he's not. <laughs> but he's the he's working alone. He's the one who's been coming to my house and collecting money all the time. He's gonna vomit my money out, I Take responsibility for what has happened. Yeah. It is true that um, we did not ask Adora to give us a baby by all means. We must have, in one way or the other, communicated to her. But uh, things will be alright as long as there's a baby from her. I think we need to apologize to her daughter because we pushed her to the brink. Having said that, let me blame Michael and her daughter for what they did. She don't buy a child. We do not use money to get a child. But what has happened has happened. The boy is our son. He is Michael's son. And Michael is Adora's husband. Therefore, the boy is a son to Adora. I guess God wanted to reveal everything. That is why he moved Mary in a circle round for bringing her back to us. In view of what I have said, Solomon, I do not think that it would be proper for you to go ahead and marry Mary, because this will cause confusion in future. Let her go and allow Adora to bring up her husband's son as her own. The family is one. The family should be one. I thank God for revealing the idiot behind the black man. Even though I am not happy that nobody told me about this until the arrested man opened up at the police station and the news filtered to my ears. And I comforted Michael and he confirmed the story. I want to apologize to my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, mostly to my mother. I'm sorry. I know I've let you down. It is not easy to hear the doctor pronounce you barren. I don't even wish it for my enemy. I'm sorry. I have something to say to you. Mommy, please can I carry the child a little? Okay. I was a prostitute. And I wanted to change after having this baby. I went to America. But perhaps my past doesn't think I'm worthy to be a mother yet. I will leave your family alone. And I'll never come back. 
I love some of them. I love Michael. Maybe it was Michael I saw in Solomon and left him without knowing I was seeing Michael. I'm like a bird. I'm ready to fly. But I am so grateful that in my lifetime I could patch on this family and make a childless woman happy. I give him to you with all my heart. Be mother to him and him your son. I'm sorry. Are you sad? Well, yes. But not totally. I loved her. But I can let her go. Thank you for making the sacrifice. Take care. 